So here we are back in the tutorial, and now we're going to start modeling the character. We'll use it based on the skeleton, since we already have it here for scale, and uh, it'll give us a basic uh, model. Now we're going to do a very, very simple, basic model. We're not going to do any elaborate details, just enough to get us, you know, a, a working skin model to, to play with. So just know it's going to be simple. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go into the front view by hitting 1 on the numpad. We'll hit Shift-C to put the 3D cursor at the start there, and then hit Shift-A, Mesh, and then Cube. Now we have a cube here. Uh, so what we want to do is we're going to cut this in half. So go ahead and hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, then Control-R, and put a uh, loop right down the middle. Take, Go to Vertex Mode with Control-Tab, and then highlight these vertices and hit X and delete them. Then we'll go into Edit Mode and uh, scale this down. And now finally in Object Mode, we'll slide it up. Actually, you know what? Don't slide it up in object mode. Slide it up in edit mode. That way we have uh, kind of the uh, center point of the model right there at the base. So now we've got a little basic box here for the uh, model. I'm just going to start shaping it into that of uh, kind of a character. And we're just going to give it just enough detail that it can uh, deform properly. Because um, in my previous tests, you'll find that th sometimes if there's not enough geometry, the rig won't work right. So we're going to do that. So you can see we've got this box here, and it's just kind of one half of the character. Let's add the other half. We'll go to the Modifier tab and add a mirror, and then we'll add clipping. So now you can see on both sides, it mirrors it. Perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, continue refining the model. So I'm just going to take this and tuck it in a little bit. We hit G, and then let's say Y on the keyboard. We'll go into Z mode. That way we can see all the way through the model. Right about there and right about there. Okay, and now we'll do the basics. Move these guys in with GX and good. So we'll take these, extrude down, extrude to about, I say about here, turn off clipping, that way we can do the legs, extrude down to the knee, just bring them out a little bit, extrude down to the ankle, extrude down to the foot, on the foot, grab this front face and extrude it out. Go back to front view. Uh, we'll go ahead and extrude upwards. <coughs> and uh, we can do this in vertice or face mode. Extrude out. Grab. We'll turn off the uh, 3D cursor here. We'll turn to individual origin so we can rotate this. Extrude again. And uh, we'll leave it there. We'll do the hand separately in a little bit. Then we'll take this. Extrude upwards and scale in. Turn back on clipping. And extrude upwards. Extrude upwards again, scale out. Extrude upwards one more time. And scale in. And up. The head's going to be a bit wide there. We'll just pull that in a bit. And once we've gotten out of this view, we'll see what needs to be tweaked to be pretty reasonable. So we already got kind of pretty much a human form. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's just, you know, just to give us the basics. Let's refine the legs just a little bit to give us kind of the uh, deformation that we want. So we'll tuck the back of the uh, uh, knee in. We'll take the front of the foot, pull that in, push the top of the foot down, and grab that, push that forward, take this and push it in, kind of give it a little edge there. Good, and now we can take the foot, bring this in a lot. It's looking pretty good. And we'll refine this in a second. We just want to get the basic kind of outline. Take this and uh, expand this out a bit. And we'll take the upper body, bring that to about there, move this up a bit. Looking pretty good. Grab the arm, and uh, we'll scale that in the y-axis. Now I'll take these shoulders, shoulder verts, scale them in. Maybe these guys here. And that's looking pretty good, basically for uh, basic mesh like we want. Let's go ahead and just make sure everything lines up. We'll do the elbow now. Okay, and we'll do the arm. Let's get this kind of... Uh, balls on each one of the joints kind of centered up on there. Looks pretty good. Let's take the chest, bring that forward a little bit. The shoulder, bring it forward a little bit. 
and uh, yeah, a pretty presentable little model here. So let's go ahead and just do a little bit more refining. We're going to add some edge loops so that way things can deform properly. This is actually really important. You generally need three edge loops for anything to deform correctly. So I'll put one in the back there, uh, one in the top there, and put one under the uh, thigh here. So you got basically three. Uh, let's see how many we got in here. We'll put one there for now. And we'll put one on this side of the shoulder. I think that should be fine, like that. And maybe one there. Give it kind of some space for the armpit and such. Bring this down a bit. And bring this down. Bring that up. Just a bunch of little tweaks. I'm going to kind of give it a form here. That's looking pretty good. Might be still a little thick, but we'll fix that in a second. Fix the arm here. Add in our loops. They don't have to be really tight. They can be a uh, fair distance away. Go ahead and edge slide that with Control E. Something like that. Bring this down to a more wrist-like shape. And bring this up. Bring this down. So let's see if you have your arm out like that. Yeah. Actually, we don't want to tweak this like this. We want it in a different direction. So now we got that there. And we'll put one in the neck. And we'll bring this down. Well, I think we'll bring this up a little bit, actually. That's about right. And there we go. That's pretty presentable already. Let's just check on, make sure we have enough verts for all we need. I'm looking pretty good. I think we can add a few more in now. So we'll add a little more detail. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. One down the side of the whole model. And that'll give it a little more room to manipulate itself in the middle. You can see there's a line down the middle here. Uh, we probably uh, got some extra faces there. Let's remove those. So let's go into edit mode. Go into face mode. Let's get rid of all these that accidentally got extruded in there. That's a common thing to happen. Okay. A good way to check if it's uh, looking right is if we add a uh, subsurf modifier and go up to here to go to, uh, I think it's subdivision surface. You can also do the same thing by hitting control 2. I'll do uh, smooth shade. And yeah, it looks pretty presentable. I like that. Let's go ahead and uh, fix up the feet just a touch. We'll add a loop at the bottom. So he's got some room to manipulate there. And we'll add one above the uh, ankle there for a little more control over the deformation. And now we can uh, clean up these legs a little bit. So we'll just move this in a little. Uh, move this in a little bit. Move the uh, knee in. Kind of get a pretty normal form there. On the back of the leg, shin, uh, the back of the calf goes out a bit. It's about right. And then this can pull out a little bit. This can pull inwards a little bit. Can enable proportional editing down here. Scale X. A little bit more of a kind of a shape there. And uh, the elbow now, so now we can do uh, some more control on that. So the elbow is, bo like back of the elbow is obviously here. Let's scale that just uh, in a little bit. I think we do something like that. And then on this part, turn off proportional editing and scale that in as well. Very nice. And let's grab that middle edge loop. And we'll just get that uh, a little more in. We we'll also put a loop in right here. Go to the front view. We'll do it kind of bit by bit with this. So we'll grab the leg first and we'll remove that. Let's scale that out a little bit. Oops. Oh yeah, actually rather, yeah, we want to actually, instead of scaling this out, this, this will actually represent the sides. We're just going to push the edges in a little bit. So just grab the verts on the front here. Actually, we'll do it through edges. That way we don't grab extras that we don't want. Let's grab all those extras edges there. And we'll scale these in just a touch. Give it more of a roundish shape. See how that kind of gives it more detail. And then grab the back. Disable the ones up here with, uh, let's say, uh, B. And then select with the middle mouse to deselect them, in case you're wondering. Scale and X. 
actually see if that works. Actually, let's let's just do one, and we'll just push it in this way. Looks pretty good. Okay, can move this up here. Maybe move this whole line up right there. Actually, yeah, that's pretty decent. Let's turn off the uh, rig for now. We don't need that for the time being. Maybe we'll turn it back on. Actually, we don't probably need it too much, but just to have it. Uh, let's see. I think we, this whole thing here just needs to move down a little bit. Yep, that's pretty close. I think I think that's fine there. Okay, let's take the uh, side here, move that in, give it more of a roundish shape. Let's see, yeah, maybe we don't need that. Move that in like that. We'll take the arm and move this one in and this one as well. Now we got to go to edge mode so we don't get that issue. Remove that too. And this one as well. Ah, oh, you know what? Actually, we need another loop right here. It's my bad. Because uh, there's nothing holding it in place otherwise. There we go. That'll give us a little bit of a rounder arm. And this guy here. You can see how much more kind of smooth and like uh, human looking it looks. Let's just actually scale this one out a little bit. And yeah, it's looking pretty good to me. Uh, I get the arm gets a lot of detail at the end because of course a hand goes into that. Got the leg there. I'll go ahead and add a loop right there and a loop right there. And there won't be too much to do with that, honestly. So we'll take the front of the knee, angle that out a bit. Portions aren't 100% accurate, uh, just the way that this rig is set up, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and tweak it a little bit. Move these guys down. It's looking pretty, pretty humanoid looking to me. Let's go ahead and uh, grab these verts, and we can, well, yeah, we'll do the same thing, I think, I think we'll just move it down a bit. There we are. And move this one up a bit. Just to give it more roundish shape. Okay. Grab these here. Move those up. Now we'll just go into vertex mode. Move that one down here a little bit. And let's gonna put some roundish shape on the head. So you see how you kind of move the verts where they were before, and not kind of the center ones, or to a lesser degree. And that kind of gives you a more round form. I'll grab those ones here as well. And grab these guys. And let's go ahead and have a little look at this head and see if we can't make it a bit more round. Turn on proportional editing. And let's give them a little more of a chin there. Turn off proportional editing. Make sure we're in five mode, or side mode. And let's just see how this looks, if we can get these looking pretty good. Kind of give them that head, normal human head shape, you know. Neck tends to tuck in a little in the middle. And if you notice on that skeleton, it kind of tends to come forward a little bit. We'll try and track that. We'll go up to here, we'll go on to O. And let's see if we just pull this, push this forward a little bit. Not sure if that's atomically correct, but it seems like uh, it wants to have that skeleton forward a little bit. Let's keep it about there, I think. Bring this back in. And let's take these, push them back, and take these, and push them forward. This guy down a little bit. This one and this one. This one, this one. 
Let's try it with the sub serif control two. Looking pretty good. The top of the head's a little flat. Not too bad though. Let's try and go up a little bit more. And the back of the head. Pull it out to the side a bit. And this out to the side a bit. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got a basic uh, character model here. He doesn't have any hands yet. Uh, we're going to work on that next. I think this is a good stopping point for the body of the character. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to hands now.